Hey guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 2. Last time, we completed a few of the uh, GS Campaign's quests that were waiting for us. This time, let's do some more of those. Get some more items, and once we're through all this, we will be decked out in a lot more strength than we had prior. Anyway, I believe Chop is the next person we need to talk to, so let's just talk to him real quick. I believe you need a female lead for this one, if I remember correctly. Uh, no, it doesn't say, so it's possible I can't remember. Anyway, the idea here is he wants to impress his teacher, Punch. Chop and Punch. Guess where Punch is? The bar on the foundation called the Iron Man Bar. Yeah, yeah, that, that's cute. Real cute game. Anyway, with that being said, all we need to do is do his little mini game, which we've done in other games before, so it's not particularly new to us. It's uh, not too difficult, but of course I say that and then I'm going to screw it up now. <laughs> anyway, he wants some help working on a new dish. This is a short little mini game. You shouldn't have too many problems with this. I believe you can retry this as many times as you want. So, let's see here. Yeah, just need to talk to him one more time. No, no, I want to do it. I don't want to not do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Anyway, you just need to press the button as he says, uh, just with the four buttons. And yeah, timing is crucial. 45 seasonings in a minute and a half. Uh, just do, if you do the wrong one, it's a total failure, so you can't do it. You'll have to do it over again. I'm not sure if it, uh, you have to restart, but I will be if I screw up. Yeah, it's pretty quick the way it goes, so you shouldn't have too much trouble as long as you're not going too fast. The uh, d lines do stay on screen for, I think, about two seconds. Not that you need them to stay that long, but uh, it's a pretty straightforward, pretty easy little quest. As long as you don't press the wrong button like a fool. And I've been known to be a fool, so I'll probably end up doing it sooner or later. I'm not going for absolute speed here because you really don't need to. And yeah, this is not the uh, quest in Final Fantasy IX, the uh, sword duel. So you shouldn't have any problem with this. Uh, ooh, I almost hit square there. <laughs> Go. Yeah, more than enough time. You can easily do it in a minute. So, or I can easily do it in a minute and I'm not great at it. So anyway, the quintessential curry. And that's all there is to that one. Yeah, not all that interesting, but it's a short little mini game, and it's done and it's over with. I actually like this one. It's not too difficult. It's not a pain in the ass. 17. I can't remember if I can make use of that yet. I'll have to double check that. See, my list shows where I can make use of some of the prizes. If, say, it says right on in the strategy guide, I'm working off of two guides here, so. But if it shows things in an easy way for me to make the connection, then I'll probably have it in my list, but not all of the decoders are in my list, so. Anyway, so with that being said, I believe that's pretty much all there is to do here. Uh, let me just check real quick on that segment address. Uh, 17, 17, 17. Uh, we do not have the door yet, so that doesn't matter. Okay, perfect. Now, let's head back to the Elsa. We have some stuff to do there. So, the spaceport. I'll just meet you on the Elsa. Okay, we're back. And I've already made, made uh, the way back to the uh, bottom floor here of the Elsa, which is important. Uh, first things first, let's go talk to this guy. This is random. So, yeah. Is there a thing you can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much power... No, no. No, I don't want to do that. I want to actually do the thing. Can I can I do the thing, or do I have to talk to the other... I have to talk to the other thing. Yeah, I can use it five more times. So yeah, basically, uh, begin scan. This is all completely random, as far as I know. So you just press the button, and you wait. And so we got... Yeah, it, I'm just going to throw on fast forward for this, because it takes too long. Yeah, so there's that color, so I guess it clears up that color on there. So, yeah. 
I don't think you have any control on it. I don't think pressing circle does anything. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, last I checked, it had no impact. Basically, you're just hoping that it doesn't go to something that it's already been to. So take with it what you will. I'm not sure how that works. Yay, it didn't go to... Actually, no, I think I still need to do red. But yeah, so basically, because it's random, we're going to have to go back and charge this thing a bunch more times. And that's kind of unfortunate. Hey, look at that. I actually got uh, the right thing. I think I know who that is. I think we should have one more left. So let's see, uh, let's see if we can get a few more here. I will end up heading back there to set it up later. I think I already did that one, yeah. Lax charge, so we have to go back. So I guess I don't need uh, fast forward anymore. Okay, so if I recall correctly, Kamikaze is over here. He was the one who wanted us to pay off the debt. Closed. Now the shop they wanted to open is officially open. And this one, if you don't do the strategy that I did, will take you till post-game to accomplish. And considering the prizes, 40 skill upgradees, and by the time you get to the point where you could do this by cycling through the final boss over and over again, you wouldn't need these. Or not very many of them, anyway. And in addition to that, double attack that I won't use. Secret Key 19 for Ether Burst, which you need ASAP because it's one of the most broken skills in the game. Oh yeah, we're gonna be using this a lot. This is a mainstay for Momo and Xion for the rest of the game. X-Buster. Normally I'd celebrate that, but I don't even remember using it. And added bonus, we get something that we should have at this point in the game since we have everyone else's already, Jin swimsuit. So yeah, that's the biggest reason between that and, you know, just making sure everything's set up and all the skill bonus ones, you really need to do this now. It really was a dick move of them to have it set up so that it takes so long to do. Maybe if it was only like 500,000 so you could easily get it done by now, then it would make sense, but it just takes too long. Anyway, with that being said, let's take a look at our uh, skill upgrade ease. Oh, baby, 500 each. Oh, I'm gonna unload that on everybody before too long. Anyway, we got that. I'm very happy about that. That is probably one of the best and most useful side quests to do. Now we need to head upstairs and I'm getting it looks like slow down on the screen, but my FPS counter is fine, so I don't know what's going on there, but oh well. Anyway, so that's two of the things we need to do now. That finishes up number 32, so that one's done. Next ones are through here. Uh, give me one sec here. There we go. Because I'm recording these all in mass, I'm abusing the crap out of save states and making multiple save states at different points in the quest in case I screw things up. Because if you screw things up at this point between, you know, my hard saves in between episodes, I'd be screwed. So anyway, once you have started quest number 10, you can talk to this guy and he'll give you hyper fertilizer. Talk to him again. You got two. Three, and I believe you need a fourth one. Four, I, can you get five? You can get a fifth one. You don't need a fifth one, but whatever, that's fine. That's what you get from him. Like I said, you can talk to five different people in the world to get all of those if you really want to, but why would you? And the correct seed that we need to do with Ludi's uh, flower is gotten by the droid in here, which is why I decided to use him. You could use any of the other droids to give you fertilizer or any of the other NPCs, but since they're right next to each other and I'd be on here anyway, we got our spring seed. That's what we want. Uh, that's all we need to do as far as that goes. 
So yeah, that's a much faster way than going to talk to different people on the Elsa, the Durandal, uh, Second Militia, and the Kukai Foundation that they were expecting you to go to to find all this stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of dick moves going into some of these uh, quests. Anyway, once we've got all that stuff out of the way, time to head to the Kukai Foundation. Uh, no. Where do you want to go? The Foundation. Because I had no other options anyway, and that's where I wanted to go to begin with. And we'll see this once. Again, if we've already seen it once, then we will see it a second time here, and then I will never show it off again. go and we're on the foundation do i need to do anything on the foundation or on the durand or rather no i do not so we're gonna head down don't worry the rest of the uh backtracking i'll be doing off screen i just it kind of flows right now so i'm just gonna kind of go with it can i go through there thank you and enter into here go to the foundation that one i'm turning on fast forward for because that one takes forever and the no, the launch area, 33. So we can start quest 33 in this screen here, if I recall correctly. I think this guy is up here. No, he's there later. This guy? This guy. There we go. Truth is, I want my old job back. Used to be an Encephalon Dive Engineer at Vector. And blah, 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 blah. Suddenly, you get irritated at a bug that only activates during outdoor simulations, especially ones with good weather. We're going to the subconscious domain in summer, aren't we? Yes, we are. Anyway, he puts some bugs in there. He can return to work if he removes the bug. But the trap goes so deep, I can't remove the bug. How are you that useless? Why would you create something out of your own control? Anyway. Anyway, would you help him? Sure, why not? That one's not too bad. It's it's kind of long, so you have to go through the summer campaign all over again uh, and take out all the enemies all over again. Not that they're very difficult anymore, but uh, they're pretty much on par with a lot of the enemies we had been fighting, um, at least in terms of development based on where we were, considering how difficult they were the first time. So they're not like super easy, but they're not super hard either. All right, so enough babbling by me. Let's, since the Kukai Foundation has been slimmed down so much, we only have two options here. Let's go to the fishing area first. This one will be tedious. And let's see here. So we need to find somebody to talk to. I believe it's you. Yeah, droid, drop something, blah, blah, blah. And fished it out with a net. And we got Zaza clue number two. Nice. Talk to you. He wants to reel in a legendary fish. Only men are allowed to participate, so we have to change who our lead party is. Yeah, like I was mentioning a while back when that uh, actually happened. Um, I think that was when we did the first quest, but uh, they'll tell you if you're supposed to do a quest with somebody, but you have the wrong party member in your lead. Anyway, long giant fish named Red Eye. Having the guy with red hair, whose name means redness, in my lead, probably makes sense here. Not that it really matters, it just has to be a male, I believe, because this guy is a sexist pig. Modified black bass. Cool. Want to try hauling him in? Yes. Alright, so this is campaign number... Oh, I'm already lost here. 29. So I'm just going to skip a few pages in the book there. Okay, so it doesn't say in this one, but uh, depending on the amount of times you it takes you to do this, you will get a... I don't want to go that far. Again, save stating all over the place. Just got to make sure I don't save state over the one I started with. Uh, but yeah, you just talk to them and you try fishing. Depending on how many times this takes, you will get a different, I believe it's set of legs for Urdekaiser when you get it later. Uh, you only have a minute, Ready? it doesn't matter go. where you go, just throw the line in as soon as you get there. And if I remember correctly, rotate the right analog stick. Again, we need to do this slowly. 
I caught nothing. Okay, let's try over here. Basically, I'm gonna show this off once, and uh, after that, I'm going to do it all off screen until I get lucky. You can get different kinds of fish. You caught a naughty meg. Seriously? Game, stop that. <laughs> Reminds me of the uh, the lustful lolly ho or whatever that was from Final Fantasy IV, depending on the translation. Was, I think in one of the translations, it's a playboy. Just a little fish. So I think you only get three or four attempts per go. So, yeah. Did I get it? Just a little fish. So I wasn't able to get it this time. I'll cut all my future attempts out. Now, do note that it doesn't really matter how many it takes you to do this. Uh, I think the first one is 1 to 5, and then 6 to 10, and then 11 plus. They all have different leg styles for Urdek Kaiser. However, because none of those determine the type of damage it does, I have no interest. It just leads to different uh, combinations of the different types of legs they could put on there. So if you add it all up, I think between the different arms and legs and head and body, or however many different things there are, you can actually have, I think it's over a hundred different visual combinations, but still you only have three different types of weapons, three different types of attacks. So that being the case, and the fact that I don't care what it looks like, as long as it does the damage, I'm just going to, doesn't matter, I'm not gonna reload or anything to make sure I get a certain one. I'm just gonna keep doing this until I get it, and I will show you what it looks like when I actually do get it. Ready, go. Well, that was fast. Literally my next one. I'll probably just leave that in the video. Um, okay, that works. I'll take it. Anyway, you caught red eye. Woohoo! That means nothing! <laughs> so this one should probably be a decoder considering... Yeah. Any of the ones that have something to do... Okay. Anything that has anything to do with Erde Kaiser in the GS campaign will almost always give you a, a decoder to unlock the segment address that has that piece in it. So let's just scroll down here to 16. Yeah, we don't have the address for that one yet, so we can't get it yet. Okay. That's all we need to do there. Next thing is we can start a whole bunch of other quests, but I don't think I'm gonna get to those today. So let's just head into the foundation here. And I was gonna go to the bar first, but I think I'll skip that because it's not really required and I'm going to the bar later. Have I blown these up yet? I guess so, okay. So skip the bar for now. We don't really need to do it. And let's go into the R Treasure Inn, where we can start three more different quests. Um, I don't remember which ones are which on the, off the top of my head. I don't think I can finish any of them for now, so I think that's where we're calling an episode. And next time, we will continue forward and start three more quests in this building. And then we will move forward and start a bunch more quests. Yay! More quests! All side quests, all boring. Oh well, that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time!